Hey, how's it going? Jeff here from Deep Cycle Battery San Diego. Today we're gonna to talk to you about reconditioning batteries. Uh, there's a lot of products that claim to recondition batteries that are hard to charge. Um, I'm gonna to talk to you about a spe specific product that we do use here at the shop to bring back Optimas that have been deeply discharged. And uh, the curious thing about the Optima battery is that once it is deeply discharged, it has a high resistance. And so uh, a lot of times people try to put on a one amp or two amp trickle charger and uh, the battery just will not have it. And then, um, so we've actually searched out and found a product that has a reconditioned mode that actually does what it says it does. Um, so let's talk about deeply discharged batteries. What is, the, what is the cause of the resistance? When a deeply discharged battery has been sitting for long periods of time, the sulfation process that, it, that is natural is allowed to harden. And once that sulfation is inside there is completely hardened, uh, too much time has gone by, nothing is gonna bring back the battery. So you have to understand that there is amount of time that you can still bring back batteries and a certain amount of time you can't. Now what that time is, I think I've seen batteries in uh, been left discharged for a year that just aren't even worth coming trying to save. So this specific charger here is a uh, IP65 by Victron. It's a 12 volt, 15 amp charger. It's waterproof, it's dust proof, and it's chemical proof and it has up to 15 amps of current charge. It also will maintain the batteries, and it has a normal charge mode and a reconditioned mode. The one thing I like about this, the, uh, the charging feature of this is that A, it, it, it's able to bring back deeply discharged batteries, and it, it starts charging even with batteries at two volts. The other part of it is that uh, when batteries are being float charged, um, less expensive chargers will actually damage batteries on float. Um, but this charger, that's because the plates are over time will start to corrode. With this charger, it actually is less than one watt. It's a half of a watt uh, output at float. So it does a very good job of being energy efficient and it does a very good job of not over or overcharging batteries. So if I want to, if I want to desulfate this battery, and let's say this battery hasn't been sitting uh, for too long and it just, it just has a low state of charge, but it has that high resistance because this is a lead calcium alloy battery and they take more, uh, more robustness to charge up. I'm going to connect this to the negative, connect this to the positive. And what I didn't say is that this, blue, this charger is actually Bluetooth. So actually, I, I can actually download the app on my phone, the Victron Connect app, and open it up and I can do all my settings on my phone to, 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 um, to recondition this battery. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this thing for, um, and I'll do a, a shot here out of the phone. I'm gonna set this battery charger for recondition mode with 15 amps of current. And now this charger is gonna use a high voltage, low amperage in the beginning to start bringing this battery back to life. What I do like about this charger is that if the battery plates are not corroded and it's just a matter of removing some sulfation, it does a fantastic job of bringing these batteries back. I know that Optima makes a charger and uh, there's a lot of chargers on the market that say that they do all this stuff, but for about $129, this charger is very affordable and I can, it has a, uh, a cross platform to charge multiple batteries. I can charge my AGM batteries with it. I can set it at 15 amps and I can charge six volt batteries with it. Um, I can even charge in lithium ion batteries with it now, now that lithium ion is on the market. Um, and Victron has a video that's currently available also online to show you how to use the feature and stuff that I'm maybe I'm not going into. But what we have seen is that batteries have been reconditioned and then we do a low test on the battery. And the next video I'll show you a battery that we've actually done a low test and uh, it's brought back. Anyway, I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, visit our shop. We can show you this. We keep this on the wall and we bring back batteries that are not damaged all the time. That's our tip today. Talk to you soon. Take care.